back to Minish Cap! So, we're in the Temple of Droplets. I don't think we'll finish it today, but we will get pretty far, because I think I remember this dungeon being pretty big, too. I could be wrong, but, you know, it's been a while since I played this, so what do I know? <laughs> Ooh, money. I, I like that. <laughs> yes. I'm recording this on Friday the 13th. So, yeah, if I have not the best luck, <laughs> y'all know why. Oh, man. I don't have any keys! Oh, can I push this? No. Okay. Ah! Oh, wait, I can hit the switch. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, right, 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 right! Uh, Gus Jar. Come here! Ah! Whee! Okay. Hey, now I can go down the waterfall. Okay, this water dungeon is not as bad as other infamous water dungeons in Zelda, as far as I'm aware. Like, it's it's better than Ocarina of Time's Water Temple, which I personally don't find to be that bad, but that's probably because I played the game more times than I can remember. I was just gonna be real. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. I'm sorry? Oh wait, we have a map. Maybe... <gasps> Oh! I never noticed that. It looks like a pot. <coughs> it makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Oh, and this is a pot, too. Wait, I want to see what's over here first. So, oh, well, I, I can't get that. Yes. Oh! I got a key! Yay! Forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Water dungeons. I don't- again, I don't mind the water temple as much, but that's probably because I played the Ocarina of Time way more times than, like, I can remember. But, um, I hate the Great Bay Temple. And I played Majora's Mask a lot. Like, it's- it's just... No, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, they both got their faults. Ow! <laughs> Gosh! Okay, now what's in here? Was this literally just a shortcut? Oh wait, no! I, I can go here! Alright, let's explore over here for a minute. What would I need the lily pad for? Oh, that's right! I need to bring the lily pad down there! Ah, I remember! <laughs> I'm remembering the game as I progress. And that's a good thing. I never noticed that the dungeon looked like a pot. That's- that's interesting. I'm learning something new every day. I like learning new stuff about Zelda, because I'm just like, Oh my gosh, more hidden stuff I didn't know about Zelda beforehand! <laughs> like, I think it's fun. It's fun to learn about Zelda. Just because the world and the story is just so well written and fascinating, well, Four Swords, I wouldn't say, is a good, a well-written Zelda game, since it's mostly just... Just, Vati kidnaps Zelda... The end. Like, that. that's, that's pretty much it. Like, it's not the best... Plot for Zelda, but... Oh, come on, Link. Go! Ow! I made it, though! Woohoo! da da, -da. I did not mean to go this way onto the pot. Ah. Sounds like some like a track you'd hear out of Studio Ghibli film, like Castle in the Sky. I love Castle in the Sky. Okay, quality movie, ten out of ten. Go watch. It's fun. It's a good time. Why am I going down here? I meant to go up. Hmm. I don't have a compass, so I don't know where the treasures are, but I will inspect. Okay, at least we got some ice here. Okay. Switch. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna explore on my own. Oh! A chest! I need to let in the sun! But how can I do that? All oh, right, that's right. I gotta move the block so I can keep one on that switch. Oh, there's a chest up here. I'll check it out. No, I fell. Ah. Fifty bucks, run away. Ah. Ah. Okay, I 
I gotta figure out how to move these around. Because I can't keep this steady on it. Hmm. Come on, blocks. Let's do this. Okay, that went in the water. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think I think I might have messed up here. I'm gonna see if I can restart. Let's see. Yeah, that's why I need the lily pad. I can't get over there. Let's see, I think I need to leave the room and come back. Let's see. So just just go here. Where there's another chest. Hmm. Do I need the dungeon item here? I might. I wouldn't be surprised if I was if I did need it. Huh. I think I solved it. Right, let's let's see. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! Where's the lily pad? There it is. Okay. The song is so mysterious, and I love it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Just this game is cute. It's beautiful. I love it. So many good things to say about this game. This game does have flaws, though. Like, no game is without flaws. I'll make that clear. Okay, well, I can't get that, but I need the dungeon item. That much is for certain. Oh, yeah, the blocks reset, so now I gotta do that again. But it's okay. The lily pad is here and ready to go. Uh -huh. oh, don't drop that on me. Ew, disgusting. I don't need that in my life. I can't wait to play Four Swords Adventures though, because I think that's the only canon Zelda game I haven't played, like, at all. Because, like, see, here's the thing. Oh! Oh, they changed the lighting! Link, where are you? Are you still there under me? It's so dark, I can't see my beak in front of my face! Watch your step, I don't want you to trip over anything. Okay, now, now this is where we gotta be careful. Okay, wall. Uh, death. Okay, here we go. Light! <laughs> yeah, I know the dungeon item here is a lantern, and we do need that for not not just for this, but we need, we need it to beat the game. Oh, is it in here? Ah, uh, scissors beetles. Uh, where's my boomerang? I got both of them. Ow. Come on, Link. Come on. Gotta use the boomerang. And I got the magical boomerang so I can do this. Oh, dang it. It didn't work. I was gonna- it was gonna be awesome! You should've seen it! Come on! Come on! Okay, looks like we got a portal to the entrance, which is nice. Um, but what do we get over here? Oh! Oh, here we are! We can let in some of the sun while we're here. Okay. Probably was supposed to go the other way for first. Okay. There we go. Here comes the sun! Doo -doo -doo -doo. A way forward is opened! Yay! Of course! Sunlight! Once we get some sunlight in to melt the ice, that element will be as good as ours! Yeah, but then we'll have to fight that giant Octorok that's right there. <laughs> I don't mind fighting the giant Octorok, but I, 
I have to like kind of remember the boss fight because like it's, it's been a while. It's been way too long. I say that a lot, but it really has been a long time since I played Zelda. Like, I I have I played a lot of Zelda games when I was a teenager, but then once I got to college, I kind of just stopped because I wanted to you know recapture the magic of playing it the first time, which is impossible, by the way. It's like. It, like, you only have one first time enjoying a piece of media. <laughs> like, that that's how it, such is the way of life. It's sad, but it's true. Oh, uh... I still remember the first time I beat Luigi's Mansion, and oh my gosh, that was, that was an experience. I remember the first time I beat Thousand Year Door. That was, that was also an experience. Like, oh, oh goodness, that, that was, <laughs> that was one of the... One of the most exciting days I had when I beat Thousand Year Door. <laughs> oh, oh, I went down the right path. Nice. Okay. Let's go in here then. See what we can find. We need a key that we do not have. Let's see what's over here. Okay, we need to let in the sun, it seems. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Here, I'm gonna push this. Ugh. Okay, it closed. So now we can walk across it. But we still need the sunlight to get through to up here. So we gotta push this out of the way. We can't jump yet, but that's okay. Link doesn't have to jump. See, like, see, so like, you have Mario, for example. Mario always has to jump. Like, it's, it's the law. For some reason, Luigi doesn't have to, and we, we won't get into that, but Link, Link can only, Link doesn't have to jump. He only jumps if he wants to. Like, if he has a special feather or something like that. Or even in Breath of the Wild, where he just jumps and no one questions it. Like, I remember, I remember when Breath of the Wild came out and everyone was freaking out about the fact that Link could jump. They were just like, oh my gosh, he can jump now. Whoa, it's like Zelda 2. <laughs> I mean, he could jump before, guys. Like, calm down. Okay, what's in here? Oh, oh! Um, I have to- I assume I have to let in the sun, but there's probably something up there that's gonna fall from the sky onto my head. Oh, it's the big electric chew! Oh, yeah, I mentioned that in the- in the- in the- the- when we were getting the earth element that we'd have to fight a giant blue choo-choo. Alright, now you beat him pretty much the same way, you just don't die. Oh, 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 do I have to- do I have to, like, hit him with the boomerang? Oh, yeah, I think I do. Okay, hang- oh, oh, no, no, he stopped. Oh, jeez, get out of there, Link! Okay, yeah. Okay, apparently you can't suck him up until you, the electricity goes away. Which is a little annoying, but I guess that can, I can make it work. Come on. Come on, Link. You're almost there. You're almost there, buddy. You can do it. Jeez, I forgot about this. Okay, I got him. Come on. You gonna land on- you gonna land on me? Ow! Ah! Okay, got him. Oh, go, go, go! Link, move! Uh <laughs> see, like, every time I see the blue choo-choo, my mind instantly turns to Wind Waker because uh, in Wind Waker, there's a potion man who will make potions out of, uh, chew jelly that you can only get from Choo Choo's. And to get a blue potion, you need blue chew jelly, which are... And blue Choo Choo's are rare in Wind Waker. Well, okay, they're not that rare. They're pretty common. But they only appear on certain islands, and, of course, you have to kill them once to get the chew jelly. You can't just spawn camp, uh, blue Choo Choo's on other places, because the game will remember if you killed the Choo Choo before. It's kind of annoying, actually. But, hey. They had, to, they had to make some restrictions when it came to the blue potion, but there's a better way- there's a better and cheaper way to make the blue potion, though. 
Uh, you basically go to this, uh, go to Linder's, uh, home in the Forest Haven area and, uh, give him four Boko Seeds and he will make a blue potion for you, so it's a lot cheaper. You just, just, just go there. It's that, that easy. I hate to break it to those who didn't know that, but I, I found out quite recently, too. As a matter of fact, it's been a while since I played Wind Waker, but I remember finding out about that because I was like, I was like, oh man, I could have just gone here instead of hunted for 15 blue choo-choos and taken the jelly. Oh, we did it! Woo! All right, the chest. Okay, let's open it up. Ah, oh, the flame lantern! Woohoo! Now we can see, and we can light things on fire, which is also fun. See, watch this. We can't light the water element area on fire, though, which is kind of sad. Also, I don't think we're limited in how much we can have the lantern equipped, because I, I know in Twilight Princess they had the lantern oil thing, which I guess is fair, like, you don't want to, like, overuse it, and plus it kind of replaced the magic meter that was going to be in Twilight Princess, but then, then just just didn't work out like that. I mean, like, I understand why there wasn't an inclusion to the, uh, like, to the the magic meter, like, the ma why the magic meter wasn't included. Uh, because there probably wasn't a reason for it. It's, it's like when they made Super Paper Mario, how there wasn't really a reason much to fight battles, and how, like, it just, just didn't work very well. So they just made it a platformer. Like, that's actually what happened with Super Paper Mario. They just made it a platformer because, like, there wasn't much of an incentive to, um, fighting battles like that. I mean, sure, like, you already got experience in Super Paper Mario, but, you know, <laughs> the incentive to fight, like, kind of, kind of died. And that, that's what happened. Do I have to light up all four torches fast enough and something will fall from the sky? No, okay, just gotta, gotta make sure. Okay, this one I have to light torches. Lovely. Oh, I remember this maze. I think they, they based this off of a maze in A Link to the Past. Yeah, this is giving me heavy Link to the Past vibes. <laughs> I remember this room too, which is... A little frustrating, but it's okay. I think this is a kinstone. Yeah, it's a red one. Sweet! I have plenty of them, so I'm not too concerned about kinstone hunting right now. Alright, let's open that up. Yay! I never found the compass for some reason. I wonder where it is. Oh. That can be blown up. There we go. What's in here? Is it lit? No, it's not. Okay, let's let's get the lantern out. I kind of can't wait to play Twilight Princess. It's gonna be a longer let's play because, you know, obvious reasons. It's it's a longer game, but it's a it's a fun game. Like I had a I had a good time playing it, and you know, it it had it has moments that I enjoyed. Like, some of my favorite Zelda moments are in Twilight Princess, and just... I love it. <laughs> Again, like I said in the past, I like each canon Zelda game in their own special way. Like, even Phantom Hourglass, I... I, I like that one too, and not because of nostalgia blindness, mind you. I played it when I was in my teens, <laughs> when I was like... When I, when I was like, starting the Zelda craze. I was not a small child when I played Phantom Hourglass. I was... <laughs> I was reaching that point where I was like, I don't really want to do kid stuff anymore, but I still liked Zelda and Mario for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know why! I just didn't... I just couldn't let go of those. You know. And, and why would I? They're good games. I mean, look at me here. I'm, I'm a grown woman playing Minish Cap. <laughs> oh, gosh! Fire! I'm on fire! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, do I have to push the blocks anyway? Okay. Um... 
No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I'm just gonna go. Um, I don't wanna die. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, I've been in this room, I think. Be careful though. Where the heck is that compass? Is my question. Where? I probably passed it. But now I will never know where all the treasures lie. Oh. Oh. Oh! There we go! Oh, lovely. One of these puzzles. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, okay. I know, I know how to do it now. I had, to, I had to look at that for a minute. But I know what to do now. Mm, mm. Alright, now I just gotta do this and then push that one down. It's a good thing there's two of them here. Okay, one, two. Okay, I gotta push... Uh, do I gotta push it down one? I think I gotta push it down one, because I don't think I can get that out of the way. In time. Okay, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. One. Yeah, yeah, there we go, that works. Alright. Now, the last one. I'm doing this so much quicker than I <laughs> the one at Fortress of Winds. I was editing that the other day, that particular episode, and I was just like... Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> okay, so I gotta hit the blocks on those three switches. Hmm. And I think I have to hit the last one, because there's only two blocks. Hmm. If I push this one over here, and then I can move this one up, and then hit the middle switch. Okay. Let's, let's try that. Let's try it. I mean, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, shoot, what do I do? I mean, I could just do this. Save myself the hassle. Wait, hey, but then how do I move this? How do I move this? How, how, do, I, how do I move this block out of the way? How, how do I do it? How, how do I move it? I, don't think, I might have messed up. Jeez, like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, I can't move it at all. Wait, is there a secret... Is there a secret wall here? No, doesn't... Doesn't look like it. Well, that's annoying. How do I... How do I move it? How am I gonna move it? Like, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta get it somehow, like, I can only push it that way. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave and come back. Okay. Any ideas, game? <laughs> ah. Yeah, see, I can't do anything with it except melt it, but then, even then, like, that's not okay. Because then I gotta deal- Wait a minute! I know how to solve this puzzle! I'm smart. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta, gotta go over here. Gotta, okay. No, not like that. Okay. Gotta. Okay, and then I move, and then I'm over here, and then I gotta, gotta. Okay, now I gotta, gotta move slowly. This is the hard part. And I gotta do it before time runs out, too, which is annoying. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! We did it! Woo! Yay! Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, and I know... Oh, frick, he's on fire! Link, buddy, put yourself out! There we go! Now we can leave! Okay, you know what? Just, just, Link, stop! Okay. Get, get out! Go into the next room! It's not rocket science! And I'm starting to remember why I died a lot here. It's because of those freaking fire snakes! Hey, what do I do here then? Oh, oh, I see it now. I see you over there! <laughs> Oh, do I have to put these in a specific pattern? Hmm. 
Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. There's no specific pattern. I just have to light them all up really fast. I hope I'm fast enough. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I think, I think, I think I, I think I failed. Yeah, I, I failed. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, Link. This freaking ice physics is killing me. Come on. There we go! Yay! Oh, Link, move, please! Please move! Okay. Woo! Okay, now I gotta do this. Oh, is there anything in here? Nah, uh, okay. Okay, nothing. Okay, no hearts or anything. I'm gonna die here. Oh, hearts. Thank you. Ow! They dropped it on me! How- Ah! I've been grabbed! Put me down! Okay, a portal. Sweet. Okay. Now we gotta blow things up. <laughs> we already have the boss key, but we just gotta- Just gotta blow this up here, go inside! What are we finding? Oh. It's a couple of moldorms. Wait, no, no, I know what to do. Just gotta... Okay, it's angry! Run away! Jeez, jeez, jeez! I yeah, I missed that one. Whoops. Ugh. Please come here. Come here. Let me let me get your nose. Oh, I got one. Good. Come on. Give me that big old nose. Hey! I did it. And now the door is open. Right, come on. Burn these webs. I don't need them. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, there's that chest. Hey, it didn't open. Hmm. Uh, but I don't really want to deal with that right now. I don't want to go back for it, because I already have plenty of kinstones. I know I was on a kinstone craze a while back, but now we're starting to get to that point of the game where the side quests are dying down quite a bit. Like, we only have ten more heart pieces to find. Like, total. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of dying down a bit. So, yeah. Now we gotta do this! Yeah, alright. Let's push! Ugh! And the sun! Here it is! Woohoo! The water element has been thawed! Yay! Now we gotta go get it! We did it, Link! Now we can take the element! That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it, and... What in blazes? Hey! Something's not right here! Yeah, this is a little too easy. And there it is, the giant Octorok. Oh no! We gotta get it! What? What's this? That stupid Octorok stole our element! Don't just stand there, Link. We've gotta go get it now! Okay, yes, calm down, Ezlo. We're gonna get it. Uh, I need health, though. <laughs> Badly. Ah. So, we gotta go fight ourselves an Octorok. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave and come back. I'll, like, just leave this room and come back and maybe get some more hearts. And then, on the next episode, we are gonna go fight that giant Octorok. And then we're gonna get the water elements. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Goodbye!